There's a, a um, uh, something that calls itself a think tank in Seattle called the Discovery Institute. And they are actually very skilled at public relations and at coming up with the right phrasing to, um, to suggest things that aren't true, but that make people believe them. So when they talk about uh, uh, their thing, and, and you know this well, is that uh, they, they uh, put out these press releases and these statements say, you know, we, we don't want, well, and you, you mentioned it, we don't want to um, ban the teaching of evolution. No, no, we're not, we're not like those people in the Scopes trial in the 1920s. All we ask is that, you know, science is about free and open inquiry. All we ask is that the schools teach the controversy about evolution. It's, it's scientific truth. You know, this is what science is. We, we debate these issues, which implies that there is, in fact, a scientific debate when, in fact, there isn't. There is no scientific debate about um, evolution versus intelligent design. There is a debate, but it's a political debate, and it's a, it's a debate about whether, uh, whether something that is not really science should be taught in science classes. So, yeah. I mean, I just want to give the fact, people may not, you know, we're talking about these things, but I happen to be at the, it was me debating the Discovery Institute when they first said that at, at, at an event in Ohio, Te let's teach the controversy. So, uh, just so you know the facts, so I went out and I looked, uh, we, a colleague, we looked at 10 million scientific articles and scientific citation index over 12 years, and looked at keywords ev evolution, got about 150,000, but half of them were related to biological evolution at the very least. We didn't look for the keywords intelligent design in the scientific literature. It came up with 88 articles. All but 11 of them were in engineering journals where you hope there's intelligent design. Of the remaining 11, eight were critical of intelligent design. The remaining three weren't, weren't, weren't even in peer-reviewed literature. Then when I debated them with this, they said, well, we don't publish in the scientific literature because scientists are closed-minded. By the way, I've said, put out a challenge to them. I said, I want one of them to prove that they have been rejected more times than I have by scientific journals. Okay, no one's ever been able to show that from them yet. But the next, they said, we publish books like Darwin did. So I went to Amazon.com. Okay, hit keyword evolution. I got 21,600 some odd hits. I looked and most of them were biological evolution. Intelligent design, I got 600 hits. 300 were engineering. The remaining... Uh, 300, 150 were critical of intelligent design, 150 books and articles on intelligent design in Amazon.com. Just for comparison, I hit the words alien abduction. <laughs> I got 160. Okay, so she, if there's a controversy in schools that we should be teaching, it should be about alien abduction. Okay. And, this, and this illustrates what uh, Peter was talking about, the fallacy, um, no, it, well, it, the fallacy, fallacy of consensus. Um, um, but it doesn't really. It's yeah. sort of in the, in the opposite well, way it does. Uh, it, it does. It does, okay. First anyway, of all, whatever. I want to I respond to something you said earlier, which is, I think, very important. There is a spectrum of science and policies. There, there's pure science that's of no political interest, and there's science that is of political and policy interest. And of course, the things that we're really talking about are, are those things, political or ideological interest. The things where we see the abuse of science or the misuse of science are where science comes up against somebody's belief or somebody's ideology or somebody's economic interest, in the case of tobacco, or perhaps climate change. Uh, and those are the interesting ones. Evolution, of course, is the religion. Um, it is also a very important point that intelligent design is a very interesting concept, but it's not science. Mm -hmm. Maybe it ought to be taught in a religious class or a political debate class or something, but, but of course not science, because it's not a testable hypothesis. It cannot be proven false. It is by its nature not science. It is not science, capital N, capital S, not science. Uh, and, and that's an important distinction to make in some of these, these debates. I would like to 